has one question. I have a question. Okay, fire away. Okay. So when you're uh, stoning for a customer, mm -hmm. what are some suggestions on how you should price uh, your stoning? Got materials and you have labor. Mm -hmm. But are you selling them the entire dress? Yes. Then price it as as a dress, not as separate items. Oh, sure, yeah. But I mean, if once you figure out, okay, this dress costs me X amount mm -hmm. unstoned, now I got to stone it. So, okay. Um, you're going to sign up for my new business, Dressmaker Business Academy, right? That oh, absolutely. Opens, yeah, it opens. This is a, actually a brand new program. It will start. I'm super excited about it just because we will tackle all these business questions. So this is very serendipitous that you brought this up. It will be application only. It is a five month intensive mastermind mentorship, only talking about businesses mm. or the, ask, the, the, the dressmaker side of it. And you do not have to be in the sewing school to participate. I'm opening this to anybody on my email list, in addition to the sewing school people, because we won't talk sewing. As far as your pricing goes, typically what I do is give myself a ballpark. So one, you should have been using the productivity planner in the sewing school to track your time, track your uh, financial expenses like how much was your fabric how much was the cost of the rhinestones know what your actual financial output is know how much time based on tracking several dresses in a row what's your time and then um and then what is the dollar per hour that you want to make and then do the math on that how much time do you think it's going to take and what's your dollar per hour and then throw in what's your estimate for your materials and then round up because <laughs> it's going to take you longer. <laughs> yeah. And then give your client a ballpark. So let's say if you're going to charge them um, $3,300, say, okay, this sketch is going to cost somewhere between $3,300 and $3,700. And that way you have a buffer. So if it takes you longer, you're not like the mechanic, you know, like in, in the States, when we go to the mechanic, they quote us a certain price and they never come at that price. Never. <laughs> it's like, why don't you people give me a ballpark to begin with? I just automatically double whatever they say, because that's what it is. So if you give yourself that ballpark and a pretty big window of three or $400 or whatever your money currency is. And then if you happen to come in on the low end, woohoo, your customer is happy. Yeah, good point. What, when's the business class start? Uh, uh, sometime later this week, I will send out the email okay. with pricing and class information. There will be replays, there will be homework assignments. It is absolutely an intensive because I don't want all of you making the same mistakes that I made so many years. And, and it's, there's so much that we are in our own way, which is true for most of life, right? <laughs> exactly. So we, we will cover that. I'm super stoked about it. Great. Thanks, Teresa. Awesome. You are quite welcome, Maureen. It's information where we can all help each other learn. We can find new resources. We can find new tips. I mean, I know a lot. I, seriously, I'm 52 years old and I started rhinestoning and making these dresses in 1989. That means I know a lot. Do I know everything? Goodness no, because things change. And I literally, over all those decades, I kept refining what I did, trying to make it better faster, more efficient, easier for me, higher customer satisfaction, which then yielded higher profit margin. So I know a lot, but that does not mean that I don't learn from you all.